This is a short introduction video to the AGL Solar Command dashboard. You can access the dashboard one of two ways. Firstly, by going to aglsolar.com.au and clicking on the solar monitoring link at the top of the page. You'll then need to scroll down to the section entitled My Dashboard. Then click on the login link. Alternatively, you can also go directly to command.aglsolar.com.au and that'll take you to the login page as well. You then want to enter your login details. and click login. The default view for the dashboard is the daily view and you can tell this by looking at the button here that's selected in blue that says day. There are also a weekly, monthly and yearly view as well as a live view which I'll take you through each of those. In the daily view you can see produced energy here at the top of the page and total consumption. Produced energy refers to how much energy your solar system is producing up to the time that you're viewing the dashboard. And it's shown here on the graph in blue. If you hover over those figures, you can see that the exact data point is shown. Total consumption is shown in purple on the graph, and that shows you how much energy you have actually consumed in your home up to the time that you're viewing it. We also see an estimated savings figure, and that's how much your solar system has saved you. I'll go into this in a little more detail in a moment. Like I said, we can also view our data by week, month, or year, and it shows you your information week to date, month to date, and year to date. If you want to go back in time and look at your historical data, you can do that using the arrows at the top right hand side of the page. So I click the back arrow, and that shows me last year. Alternatively, I can view that and go back in time by month, week, or day. The other view that I wanted to show you is the live view. This view shows you exactly what's happening with your production and your consumption up to the minute. The reason why this view is very handy is because it's updated every 30 seconds. So if you want to tell how much a specific appliance is using in your home, for example your kettle, you can run off to the kitchen, switch on your kettle, come back to your dashboard and see how much your consumption line of your dashboard is spiking. That gives you a very good idea for how much energy you're using in your home in comparison to how much solar you're producing, which in turn allows you to take best advantage of your solar energy production. On the left hand side of the dashboard we see three features, dashboard, settings and support. We're currently viewing the dashboard. If we click on the settings component we see two features add users and set energy tariffs. Add users simply allows you to add additional users to view your dashboard and you enter their email address and click add user. An email is generated to that user and they can create login details to view your dashboard. Um, the set energy tariffs feature allows you to input what you pay for grid electricity as well as what you get paid when you feed excess solar energy back into the grid. This simply allows us to calculate a much more accurate savings figure for you on your dashboard. The support tab has frequently asked questions as well as contact details for our customer service team. By clicking on any one of those questions the answer drops down for you to read and you can see contact details are over here on the right hand side. That's everything I wanted to show you about the dashboard for now. Thanks for watching.